case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The contentious issue of tax on profits made its way to the Supreme Court in 1872 with the landmark case Gravery Darlington. At the heart of the dispute, a fundamental question on taxation, whether the rise in value of bonds can be taxed as income for the year of sale. The story began in 1865 when an individual chose to exchange their U.S. Treasury notes for U.S. 520 bonds. Four years later, they sold the bonds, making a substantial profit of $20,000. However, the matter took a turn when the government imposed a 5% tax on that profit, categorizing it as income for that particular year. The taxpayer, feeling hard done by, chose to fight the tax in court, arguing that the profit from the sale should not be subject to that specific year's taxation. The court was tasked with scrutinizing the timing of the exchange and sale, the profit made, and the specific verbiage of the tax code. Interestingly, according to the existing tax code, taxation on profits must derive from money made in the year immediately preceding the assessment, with several exceptions provided for traders. Following this rationale, an increase in property value should not directly translate into a profit. Moreover, any surplus made from property sales shouldn't be considered part of the owner's income for the year in question. Taking into account these considerations, the court delivered its verdict. The justices concluded that a bond's value appreciation over various years couldn't be pigeonholed as profit for a single year, hence wasn't eligible for taxation in the year they were sold. The ruling became a cornerstone in future tax-related cases, shaping the nuanced understanding of what constitutes taxable income. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.